I am Marcus Blake. We are here at the Poop Movie Event, and we are talking with Jason and Randy Scholar, two of our favorite comedians. So we got to dive right into it. Why does the world need a poop movie? I mean, this is a movie I feel like we've been keeping inside of us for a long time. Sometimes you got to just let it go. I mean, it is metaphorical. <laughs> it is funny and amazing that it's a subject that, first of all, everyone experiences. Right. We, everybody does it, but nobody talks about it. And there is a weird, like, we've gone so far past so many other taboos, and yet this is something that we keep super private. And we feel like that is a little unhealthy. And the more you... Well, that was our first thing. It. Is it too unhealthy that we're not talking about it? And right. is there a smart and funny way that we can deal with it? And that's what we tried to do with the movie. And yes. I think we did achieve that. Yeah. Okay. Now, everybody has a great poop story, yeah. whether it happened to them or yeah. someone else. Yeah. So, and I feel like this is a chance for you two to tell on each other. <laughs> we want to know the, what your funny poop story is. I mean, we talk about it in the movie a we little do. bit. Yeah. And because we went to summer camp later. We have oh, a couple okay. of stories. We have a couple stories in the movie. But we went to summer camp when we were about 14, I think. Later than most, most kids go at like 10, right. 11. So. And all, you show up at summer camp and all of a sudden you're in this cabin. There's 10 other, 15 other kids, counselors, kind of an open floor plan. Oh, of it's a terrifying. If you've yeah. been a private pooper and then you have to suddenly enter that. <laughs> and you're the new kids. And you're worried about the way people are judging you of any sort of, I think it was a Jewish summer camp. I waited like 11 days. I waited two weeks. <laughs> Still eating all the Jewish food, which is like building a, a, like a Western wall. I damaged my colon. <laughs> yeah, it's like, horrifying. It's awful. It's awful. And, and, and yet, we, and we, and then we were on like the softball team, and like oh. we still played sports. We did theater. Why we ever stood in front of people? Although it did create a sense of urgency in all, all of our theater. Right. Yeah. Like God, why are these kids so urgent? Well, there is a worse situation than summer camp when you're 14. It's called basic training in the military. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I, so. I would not. I would not want to go through basic training in the military if I had issues around pooping. So oh, yeah. hopefully, this is the kind of movie that opens the discussion and gets anyone who's thinking about joining our armed forces in a more comfortable space so they can go through basic training. And the truth of the matter is our friend's wife uh, suffers and deals with Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease, IBS, these are things that people deal with. Right. And if we start talking about it in a funny way and make people laugh about it, maybe we open the door. And look, I mean, well, our father, uh, you know, unfortunately passed away from colon cancer. And if this is the kind of movie that makes us more comfortable with that area of our bodies, makes us more open to getting screened or screening. something like that, then who knows? I mean, yeah. that's like pie in the sky hopes. On we the surface. We just want to make people laugh. We just want to entertain people. Okay, so we got a very nerdy question for sure, you. Yeah. And we're going to use the poop movie to answer this. Right. Because our universe is superheroes, Star Wars, Star Trek, everything nerdy, what character in the nerd universe deserves the poop emoji more than anybody? Wow. I mean, I would say Thanos. I mean, he looks like a giant, like a massive turd. Right. I, I mean, Fa Thanos is, he's, he's strong, he's powerful. You feel him coming before yeah. he's there. So it's like a poop in any way. You can, yeah. He attacks other senses. Yeah. To me, it's the thing as part of the Fantastic Four. That guy to me reminds me of like an old Jewish tenement building. Well, Thanos is kind of like Thing 2.0, yeah, right. which is more power. Yeah, but Than the Thing was like sounded like an old Jewish man. He was always complaining. He was rickety. I, I imagine he had problems with his bowels. He probably yeah. you know, he got to pour prune juice down the pipes. Yeah, he was never like regular. He was never regular and always upset about it. Wow. <laughs> about that <laughs> nerdy. That is a great answer right there. <laughs> This is John Winfrey with That Nerd Show, talking with Devin Pike, the moderator for the Poop Talk. <laughs> it still never gets old. <laughs> so Devin, tell me, uh, why do we need a poop movie? Well, there are so many things in our world that divide us right now. Different, uh, different religions, different countries, different political ideologies. We need something right now that unifies us. And there is nothing more unifying than poo. It, think about it. There, there are certain functions that are specific to mammals, regardless of the genus, and poop is actually on that list. I gotta agree. I mean, we we all do it. Everyone does it. I does it. He does it. It does it. Yes. <laughs> so Even Pennywise does it. 
<laughs> we may not see it on camera, but it happens. I, I assume so. I'm not sure he's a mammal. I'm not sure. Well, well maybe that maybe they'll cover it in the sequel. You're right. Pennywise does it. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> well, he scares it out of me, so there you go. <laughs> Everyone's got a crazy a poop story. Uh, tell us your crazy poop story about you or someone you know. Okay. Um, it was my second day on a uh, job, not the current job that I'm working at. Second day, and I, 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 I felt myself dragging at the end of the first day, so I'm thinking, okay, fine, I'm gonna go to Starbucks, I'm gonna get the biggest caffeine jolt I can possibly get. So um, I, I get there, it's like 8.50, I got plenty of time, you know, sit at my desk, 9.01 rolls around, 9.01, I know this because it was like burned into my brain and my intestines had an absolute riot. I knew I had to find a bathroom in the worst possible fashion. So I go to the nearest bathroom, closest to my desk. All stalls are filled. Okay, fine. So I, 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 I penguin walk, basically. And thank God nobody knows me at this point, so I thought. And I go to the other side of the building and all the stalls are filled there because everybody else had the same you know, problem. So I'm just sitting there in the men's restroom clenched cheek the whole nine yards the CEO walks in of the company walks in behind me and says man I'm gonna fire the next person if they don't get out of that damn stall and I said well can you fire two of them because I really need to get into the next one to yours and that's how we it, it was again unification but that was it was it was so brutal and I think I was trapped in there for 10 minutes afterwards it was bad it was bad man would you say that's your most serious game of battle shits you've ever played it, it, it's definitely in the top three. The other two were in college, and we can't speak of those. <laughs> now, because it's you, Devin, we got two very specific nerdy questions for you involving poop. Okay. So All right, hit me. I need you to create a story right on the spot of Deadpool and poop. The red pants weren't always red. <laughs> so they started brown, or they finished brown? They started brown, they finished in, in a different kind of brown, but it kind of moved towards red. Oh. And that's where we kind of, you know, hey, you oh. wanted to go there, man. I was willing to do oh. the one sentence and out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any character in the Star Wars universe that deserves a poop emoji or just is a poop emoji besides Jar Jar Binks? That's pretty obvious. Job, job, job of the Hutt. Job of the Hutt is a walking, slithering poop emoji. I mean, he has a throne for his poop. He's already there. And you know there's a hole cut out of the damn thing this delicious crumb crawls in and out of. Yeah. You know this. Yeah. I think, I think like, I, if they hadn't gone to the legacy, uh, walling off the extended universe, making that legacy, I'm almost certain we would have seen that. I couldn't have thought of a better answer. Well, that was Devin Pike. He's the moderator for tonight. We're going to have a fun talk about poop with the poop talk and the poop talk movie. Subscribe to that nerd show. Click the subscribe button. It's right down there. See that subscribe button? Hit it. That nerd show. Always do it on the count. I am Marcus Blake. We are here at the Poop Movie event. That's right. We're talking poop. And we're speaking with Bethany Woodruff. Why do we need a poop movie, in your opinion? Why do we need a poop movie, in my opinion? Um, this is allowing us to talk openly about what we all do. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so I think it's the perfect platform for people to watch and have a conversation with whoever they're with while they're watching it about their bowel movements and being okay to talk about their bowel movements. Yeah. We, we don't... We don't have to hide the conversation. We don't have to be embarrassed by it anymore. Well, I think like with our family and friends or people we're close with, we can talk about it somewhat. But like this yeah. is on a broader scale, like sure. opening up to people like you. I don't know you, but I can talk about it. And now we're talking about that, poop. The, it's like we're instant it's friends really, now that we're talking about yeah, poop. Yeah, literally, it does. It bridges that like, okay, I've never met you before, but we're going to talk about the fact that we both sit on the toilet. I never thought about it as a conversation starter, but okay. I know. Well, when I tell people what I do, it's immediate, like immediately we've like, I mean, it's like third, fourth day already because right. we're talking about, you know, do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Poop Pori. Okay, so I get to be the face of the best spray, in my opinion, in the universe. 
Puberty is a spray that you spray into the toilet. I think everyone knows that right. before you go, so that when your turds hit the water, <laughs> all you're gonna smell is puberty. And yeah, they have like a million fragrances, and it's all essential oil based, which makes it really natural smelling. It's not right. like aerosoly. You know what I mean? Like right. you're not covering it up, which is the, that's pure the most thing I like about it is the fact that it's not like chemically, it's just like, it's all natural. I, I think, think everyone's about these days, aren't they? I'm wondering if this is the first time that somebody has talked about a, their product, marketing their product, and had to use the word turds to describe it. Or to describe what they do. Yeah. Uh, this is like groundbreaking. Okay, I love it. <laughs> no. If I can be groundbreaking, then I'm cool with it. All right. Now, everybody has an embarrassing poop story, whether it happened to them or to someone they know. Yeah. We want to know yours. I feel like I'm going to have to make one up because I don't feel like, truthfully, I don't feel like I have, I could steal my husband's one. Well, there you go. Like, I know that sounds bad, but like, I don't feel like I have an embarrassing one. I feel like my pooping is pretty normal, like on the normal <laughs> scale. Like I've never pooped my pants. I've never like really stank up a public place and like you know walked out of there inconspicuously right. but my husband's story is he was walking home from school he was wearing basketball shorts this was in high school he's american i'm not so that's why he was wearing basketball okay. shorts anyway he's walking home and he gets the runs and he can't control it and he has to walk through this graveyard to get home. I know it sounds it sounds like I'm really making this up. I'm not. This is his story, not mine. But he has to walk through this graveyard, he gets hit with the runs, and then his basketball shorts, it, it's uncontrollable. Like it's coming out, he can't control it. He has to hold on to the basketball shorts, like pull them in cool them in so that nothing comes out. Like, that's how bad it was. And he kind of like, he's crumbling. <laughs> Sorry. He's like crumbling to the ground, like, holding onto his shorts. And then he had to call his mom to come save him, essentially. Wow. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's wow. pretty epic, I think. Also, it should be noted that he is the greatest husband in the world because you are telling this story and he still gets to be with you. Yeah. Yes. There you go. I thought you were going to say like that I, he's letting me tell the story. Well, he didn't really have much of a choice. No, he you doesn't just, have you a just choice. Get out there now. He is. Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. Like, I'm going to share it because it's better than any of mine. I don't really have anything. Well, like there you inside. go. All right. So, since we're a nerd news outlet and we like all things nerdy, we have very specific nerdy questions. And tonight, we're going to incorporate one of our questions with poop. Okay, so now we deal with Star Wars, Star Trek, superheroes, Harry Potter, anything. Okay. That's our universe in okay. video games. Within that universe, who do you think, what fictional character, villain, whatever, deserves the poop emoji the most? Because they're so horrible. Who would you pick? Ooh, ooh. Well, you mentioned Harry Potter, so I'm going to say Wormtail. <laughs> He definitely deserves it. You know what? That's a good answer, too. I would totally go with Wormtail. I mean, his name says it all. I know. He's gross. He is gross! Oh, my God. As a rat? Yeah, he was gross. He was gross. So there you have it. Wormtail gets the poop emoji within the nerd universe. Yeah. I like that, that answer. Works. That yeah, totally works. what you were expecting. Right? No, not at all. But okay. I like the answer. Okay. I am Marcus Flake. We're here at the Poop okay. Movie event, yes. and we're going to be talking poop with the CEO of Poop Hori, uh, Susie Batiz. So the first thing we got to ask, why do you think we need a poop movie? Well, because we need to open the conversation. I mean, it happens, and we're still embarrassed about it. Like, everybody poops. And if they don't, we need to really be worried about it. <laughs> right. Yes. You might be dead. <laughs> Right, exactly. Okay. We're definitely not healthy. So, you you started the company, Poopery. How how did it? What was the inspiration behind it? I mean, the idea that how did this all come about? Yeah, well, I worked with essential oils, and I couldn't stand poop smell. Right. So I decided, like, 
my hand owner be trapped. And I experimented for about a year. And granted, this was 13 years ago. Okay, so poop wasn't as popular as now. Trust me. Everybody thought I had four heads. They're like, what do you do when nobody wanted to talk to me? And when I was testing it, people would come over to my house for dinner parties or, you know, just dinner. And I'd go, you gotta go to the bathroom. That is the rule. That and they go, <laughs> Yeah, what, what a strange number, question to ask. Yeah, and I'd be like, number one or number two. Like, <laughs> and then one day, I'm testing, my husband walks out of the bathroom and he goes, oh my God, we're going to be millions. And I can't talk about it. He goes, do you realize what you did? You just created a new product. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, you're going to be millions. I'm like, what? And he goes, you just took the smell out of our guys. Right. Poop. Really? Nice. Now, do you feel like, I mean, since you, you, we, this is a taboo subject, but do you feel like for comedians and to, to open the conversation, is there anything that you feel like is too taboo? I'm on the table because uh, there are reporters on the table and with Randy about sharding. You know? Right. It happens, right? It's like every once in a while, you know, you can't trust sparks. He's like, exactly. You know, you've got to be really careful. Sure. I don't want to really hear about that. Be that yourself. But really, poop happens and it's funny. And we need to open up and be more lighthearted about it. Now, everybody has a really funny poop story. Um, and although the one talking about your dinner party is with the weird conversation is a good one, do you or somebody you know have a really funny poop story that's worth sharing? Oh my god, we have a lot of, we just found a video with a lot of funny poop stories. <laughs> Like one of them, this girl was like, brought this guy home, right, for a dinner party. We just filmed her. It's so funny. And it was the first time she'd been with him. She lived in New York in a one bedroom apartment, one bathroom. She wakes up the next morning, they've been drinking. He's in the shower and she has to poop. She doesn't know what to do. With so she gets a mixing bowl. She poops in the mixing bowl, right? Sticks it in her drawer. Then you can still smell it. Wow. She pours vodka all over the food <laughs> to cover up the poop smell. But what we've seen in these stories, the consistency is when people are going to get found out that they poop, there's a fight or flight mechanism. Right, so right. Irrational sense goes out the window. It's a make it or break it. Yeah. They want to cover it up, hide it, no matter what. And it's not always rational. I feel like, you know, again, that's the make it or break it thing if, you, if it's a new relationship. When you have to poop and you're in the same building or you have an embarrassing story about yeah. it, yeah. It's like you, I realize you may never look at me the same again. Right. I actually, I do. <laughs> nice. As if it's a big mystery. Right. Okay, now, for us, since we're a nerd news outlet, we do all things nerdy, superheroes, Star Wars, Harry Potter, yeah. Hence our like a little like Tom Cruise. Have you heard this? I get that one in Christopher Reeve. See? So, I, but... But hey, you didn't even realize you're talking to a lightsaber microphone? Oh my god. I know, exactly. Yeah. Sort of what Boobery does is like a exactly. lightsaber sort of right I like that analogy. But anyway, our question is any character within the nerd universe, who deserves the poop emoji more? Who's that one character for you that deserves it more than anybody? A char any character? Any character in the new nerd universe. <laughs> Going through my head, my mother said, don't talk about religions, politics, or sex. So there's a few that are coming off my list. Um, let's see. You know who would be fun that just popped in? Casper the Ghost. No, okay. Could you imagine? Yeah, what if there was a bra Right. But you smell it. Oh my gosh. You're like, come on. Is someone in here? Yes. Wow. I never thought about that. That's a good one. That's a good one.